Hi girls, I wanted to make a couple notes about the sculpt class tomorrow. Um, first of all, I just would like to say, be okay commanding a room. These classes are bigger and it's really important for us to be a leader in the room and make sure that when we're splitting up groups and organizing stations that we are leading the room again. So telling the women, you four are in a group. You four are in a group, you four are in a group. You guys are gonna start here. You are gonna start here, you are gonna start here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of deer in headlights. Sometimes um, when I'm finished um, explaining things, so just make sure that you are taking control, taking command, leading the class in that way. Um, also, making sure that we're really clear about the rotations, not just like, hey, you go there and you go there, but really trying to use the numbers, like one is going to two, two is going to three, three is going back to one, or bench press, you're going to put two lateral raises, lateral raises, you're going to box ups. Um, be really clear and concise about where you want them to go. Um, the other thing is, let's be mindful of coaching but not over coaching movements. Okay, so give a couple points of performance, but let's try not to spend 10 to 12 minutes explaining all of these movements. So give them the goods, give them a couple points of performance, and if needed, you can go around and coach individually, but you're basically gonna give them the meat and potatoes and get them off and running. One thing that used to drive me nuts when I would go to Sculpt prior to when we all started doing it is getting warmed up and then standing and listening for 10 plus minutes. So of course we wanna do a good quality job in coaching, but let's get them in, get them moving, and then again we can, um, we can coach as needed. So a couple things I just wanted to talk about. Um, for one, in the warm up, um, with the change plate lateral raise, front and the side, you're gonna grab the change plates for the ladies. This is going to be one of the 25 minute um, sets. So one, one is one. One, one is two, okay? So that's for the warm up piece. With the dumbbell bench press, I'd like for you to talk to them about <clears throat> pressing their shoulders into the bench, engaging their glutes, and driving their feet down into the ground. If they need plates on the bottom of their bench, that should, could and should be really helpful for them. And then again, driving their shoulders into the bench as they're pushing through the dumbbell bench. For the wide grip pull-up, I have a very small handful of ladies that can actually do strict pull-ups or even banded. So I'm gonna say that most ladies are gonna need these all set up. Another point that I wanted to make is look at the programming, make sure that everything is all set up, the room is appropriately set up, and that you have the appropriate tools that you need to demonstrate before you begin, because we don't want to waste time running all over the room. Also, the morning people, you can feel free to leave things set up because we're running this class all day long. All right, back to these wide grip pull-ups. So you can make the marker of there's some hash marks on the pull-up or on the barbell, and that's about where their range of motion should be. It should be wide grip, okay? And then what we want, this is low for me. I usually like to see their arms fully extended. They can utilize their lower body, but try to be most of their upper body getting their chest up or their chin above the bar, okay? That's gonna be where most of the ladies will live for that piece. The lateral front raise keep this light encourage them to keep this light with the dumbbells um, or even the use of change plates is really great here as well the chest fly from the floor is going to look like this slight bend in the arms supine position below hovering right above the ground and then back over the chest okay um Max reps, bent over row. Everything else should be pretty straightforward. Um, there is a prenatal modification for the Russian twists on the finisher, so make sure you are being mindful of that um, and reading the room as needed. Let me know if you have any questions, and that's that.